sticky situation number two it's when we let our issues blur our identity when we let our issues blur our identity as a Christian your identity is righteousness in Christ as a Christian your identity is forgiven you're a child of God but though you have an identity in Christ you still have and you will have certain issues that you're gonna have to overcome issues that you're gonna battle and the issues that will want to take over your identity I'm gonna tell you a story of a woman we actually don't know her name the scripture says in Luke chapter 8 verse 43 a woman having an issue of blood 12 years which has spent all her living upon physicians neither could be healed by any this woman has no name and this woman is called by her issue because she had this issue and after a while this issue has her this issue is what she's known by they don't even call this woman by her profession they don't call this woman by her degree they don't call her by her financial status they don't call her any other name they call her a woman with an issue have you ever been called by your issue has other people ever referred to you not by even your name by what you struggle with by your weakness and see when we come to church many times we come and God wants to know our name and when he asks Jacob what is your name and Jacob says my name is Jacob because Jacob means supplanter Jacob means a liar what he was saying to God is God I am a liar that is who I am and God says I'm gonna give you a new name your name is gonna be Israel you're not gonna be known by your issue you're gonna be known by your fighting spirit and you will overcome that issue because you will get an identity when you come to church what God wants to do he wants to split your identity from your issue faith wants to raise your identity up and put the issue where issue belongs under your feet even if that issue is a sin you struggle with but listen God doesn't look at you by your issue he looks at you through his precious blood and the blood of Jesus Christ every person has issue but when Jesus looked at this woman the Bible says he called her not a woman he says daughter and he didn't say woman with an issue he says daughter great is your faith and your faith has made you well God doesn't look at you at your issue he looks at you through your identity and he doesn't see a problem he sees a faith you see a Rahab you see a prostitute but God sees a woman who has faith that's how God sees us and we have to come to God not only to get rid of our issue but to separate our issue from our identity and to say I am a sick person I'm not a sick person trying to get healthy I'm a healthy person fighting sickness I am not a sinner trying to get holy I am a holy person fighting sin I'm not a weak person trying to get strong I am a strong person fighting weakness can somebody say amen your identity is greater than your issue ground yourself in your identity maybe you've lost certain things because of your sin maybe other people look at you that look down on you because of your sin that is their problem make sure in your subconscious you keep clear mind of who you are in Christ if the world raves and screams at you make sure your own voice tells you I am God's child I am forgiven by Christ I am washed by the blood I know you know me by my past but Christ knows me by the cross and by the forgiveness in his blood